hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this adidas logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe Photoshop. I have this logo file over here. Like always we do, we need each and every one on the separate layer. But specifically for this animation, we don't need to do that procedure really. I mean we will do that only for three stuffs. So let's first select your selection tool and we will select this much portion over here and hit Ctrl X. I'll create a new layer and I'll press Ctrl Shift V and I'll hide this. Then select this layer again, select this X. Hit Ctrl X, create a new layer and press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place and hide this. Then select this layer again and we will select this portion of I. I'll hit Ctrl X and I'll create a new layer and I'll press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. And yeah, now these three things are on the separate layer. So hit Ctrl 0 and let's save this file like this. Now let's go to the Adobe After Effects and we will create a new composition. I'll call it as Logo Animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 second long and background color i'm going to choose white color and simply hit ok and hit ok then we will go to choose grid and guide option and we will hit on titles section. then in project window i'll simply double click and i'll select my saved photoshop file import as footage i'm going to choose composition written layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok then double click to open this comp hit ctrl a to select all of them hit ctrl c to copy them go to the logo animation comp and simply hit ctrl v right click new and create one null object select all the four layers and we will make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s for scaling option and scale it like this and let's move this thing over here press p for position and let's move this over here select this null object and we will hide this i mean we will delete this now uh, first thing we will do we will hide these three layers first now we will focus we can focus on this thing now okay so let's select your pen tool and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna delete the fill over here and then i'll choose stroke and for the stroke color i'm going to choose the red color then what we are gonna do we will hide this first and then from here to here i'm going to create one stroke and i'm going to increase the stroke width then select your selection tool press ctrl alt home to align that uh, anchor point to the center so select this press ctrl alt home so as you guys can see the anchor point is properly at the center so with the help of arrow keys i'm going to move this at the middle press g for selection of pen tool i'll select this point and i'll bring this a little bit upward like this okay yep this looks good to me now let's select this and let's try to increase the stroke we will increase the stroke until it's gonna cover entire stuff okay then select this press g to select your pen tool again select this point and let's bring this a little bit downwards with the help of arrow keys yeah i think this looks good to me now select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it press p for position and let's bring this over here like this press g for selection tool or you can simply select this tool over here and you can select this in search option you can type path and create one keyframe on it then select this keyframe then you can select this point and by holding shift you can bring this point upward like this then i'm going to select this i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll hit u i'll uh, first of all press p for position and let's bring this over here at the position of our eye like this hit u select this keyframe and let's select this portion and by holding shift i'm going to adjust it over here then we will select this one i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring this up the top press p for position and let's bring this over here 
then i'll select this second layer i'll hit ctrl d i'll bring this over here press p for position and let's move this over here like this hit u and we will delete those path keyframes okay so if i hide this logo we have this kind of stuff now select all of them and press p for position right click on the position and choose separate dimensions like this like this like this and like this okay and we will create one keyframe at each then go to around one second and again create another keyframe then let's go to the start uh, i think we need to do keyframes over here also and let's go to the start and now what i'm gonna do i want them to properly at the center so i'll select these things and let's move this over here select this one let's move this over here so basically we are adjusting one by one select this one by sorry by holding shift we will adjust it over here select this by holding shift i'll adjust it over here and in middle of that i am going to select all of them and i'll simply bring them over here like this okay so if i see this thing i'll get something like this then go few frame forward and carry it not at this time so let's select uh, all these layers go to the search bar and type y position so now uh, they are gonna show only y position keyframes and select those y position keyframes only and hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and choose edit speed graph go to the start let's select this one by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here then select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so i'll get something like this then after that go few frame forward like this and create one keyframe at y position and over here let's move this upward so we will get this kind of bounciness and if you think this is too much so let's bring this a little bit downward not too much okay so we'll get something like this then after that press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make this one complete rotation okay hit u let's select all of them and press r again to select your rotation keyframes i'm going to select this and i'll hit f9 i'll go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so if we see this now we will get something like this now hit u and now i'm going to select all of these keyframes and i'll move this up to one second like this or let's say 1.15 frames now let's select any one of them and let's go to the add menu and we will choose trim path then go to the trim path and let's make this end value initially zero and create one keyframe go to around few frame forward let's make this 80 go few frame forward let's make this 20 go few frame forward uh, let's make this 40 go few frame forward uh, let's make this 100 maybe or uh, at this point let's make this 10 again and at this point let's make this 100 and hit u and select all of these keyframes uh, and let's move this over here okay and let's select this much portion of keyframes let's adjust it one by one something like this okay and then select those trim path keyframes and hit f9 and let's we will get something like this let's go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift i'm gonna move this handle over here and this handle over here 
okay so we'll get something like this and then we will select these keyframes and we can move this a little bit over here okay so if you see this animation we will get something like this now what i'm gonna do um select this first one go over here and select the stream path and hit ctrl c to copy and select all of them and hit ctrl v as you can see we will get something like this then uh, we will enable our logo over here and uh, as you guys can see all we need to do is to create some circles over here so let's go to the ellipse tool and uh, by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse by press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point over here and let's try to fill up this and if you want then you can try to change the or increase the size of stroke like this okay and let's change the color of this one to yellow one like this also over here i'm going to change the color of this to yellow so we can easily understand uh, the linking between them and let's uh, make sure that you are after all of this stroke animations then we will select this and as you guys can see we have to parent this this one so let's select this and we will make it apparent with the sixth layer which is this one then select this hit ctrl d and let's move this over here then we have to make it apparent with this one which means this sixth layer so let's select this and make it apparent with this one okay then we will select this we will hit ctrl d and we'll move this over here and then we will select this layer which is the fifth one and we will make it apparent with this fifth one we will select this we will hit ctrl d and i'm gonna move this over here and we have to parent this with the layer fifth which is over here so as you guys can see uh, we will get this kind of animation okay so let's select this and press ctrl alt home like this i think the parenting of this one okay so by mistake uh, i did this with fourth one but it should be parent with the fifth one okay so if you see this animation over here we will get something like this now uh, from this point i want they should start animate so i'll move all of them over here and then what i'm gonna do as always i'm going to go in my dream path option go to the dream path let's make this zero initially create one keyframe go few frame forward i mean around over here and let's make this 100 select those keyframe and hit f9 like this okay and then we will select the stream path we will hit ctrl c we will select all of them let's go over here and hit ctrl v like this okay so we will get something like this now uh, what we need to do we need to do some adjustment for letters so as you guys can see this one is parent with this ninth one and both of them are a so i'll select both of them i'll press ctrl shift c to pre it and i'll call it as a and i'll hide them then we have this and this which is our d so i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as d and i'll hit ok then uh, i'm not gonna touch this i i'll select this this i'll press ctrl shift c i'll call it as d i'll select this this i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as a okay i think this looks good to me and now uh, we have to animate our s and other stuff so let's try to do that uh, we have this and this let's select this let's hide this one for now uh, and this s also we have to focus on this i stuff so first it should start animate like this and then at this point i want this thing should start animate so i'll move this over here i'll press p create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe and in middle of that i'm gonna move this let's zoom in and let's try to move this over here like this sorry over here select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here select this move this handle over here 
this handle over here select this and move this handle over here let's select those keyframe by holding alt i'm going to reduce the duration of it okay then select both of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as i and hit ok and i'll move this over here and i'll hide this okay then we have this s let's enable all of these compositions now and what we will do we will try to adjust them first a i'll hit page down button two times or three times and i'll move this over here i'll follow this again uh, it should be over here okay let's select this s and i'll move this over here hit page down button few times to move this over here let's move this over here press p for position create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring this over here then i am going to select those keyframe and hit f9 i'll go to the graph editor i'll select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and if you hit play we will get something like this okay then i'm going to select my my rectangle tool and i'll delete the stroke i don't want that and i'll choose fill color red color and uh, i'll create one mask on it press ctrl ultra let's move this over here and let's bring this over here let's go over here and let's adjust it select those key frame prem f4 and choose alpha mask like this okay and hit u and then uh, we will enable this layer and we will bring this over here then i'm going to select this rectangle tool and i'll create one mask for this uppermost thing i'll select this and i'll choose alpha mask also and after this animation i want they should start animate so i'll select both of them and i'll move this over here select this press p create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring this downwards select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here okay and hit u then select all of them and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo animation and hit ok go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply fill effect on it and we are going to apply black color on it so if you see this animation now we will get this kind of animation or this logo okay so this is how you can create this kind of logo animation and if you want you can hit ctrl d press s unlink this let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this over here like this press t for opacity let's make this 20 so we will get this kind of reflection select your rectangle tool create one mask go to the mask one and let's increase the feathers okay so this is how you can create this adidas logo reveal animation let's go inside this select this s hit u and let's move this keyframe a little bit forward like this so yep this is how you can create adidas logo reveal animation with the help of this kind of technique so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then, stay tuned.